Hey guys, this is Sam and today we're breaking down City of 1.1.14 and we're taking a look at all of the new changes and improvements. Very quickly before we jump right into the changes, if you appreciate what Jay Freeman or better known as Sark has done in this update, please think about giving him a donation. I know he's worked so hard on this update over the past week, or as he likes to call it, he's probably been slaving away at this. There's so much that changed, so much that is better than ever before. And if you appreciate what he does, definitely think about giving him a donation. Link is right in the City Installer page on Cydia on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. But jumping into the changes, the number one thing I wanted to see in the next update to Pangu or the Untether or Cydia was a fix for the passcode and that is exactly what we got. You can now enable a passcode and not worry about a reboot loop or anything like that. Touch ID works great. I even rebooted my device with both passcode and Touch ID enabled and experienced no issues whatsoever. Very glad to see that is fixed in the latest version of Cydia. The next big change for me here is almost not background app refresh, but true multitasking for Cydia. Before, if you were on Cydia 1.1.14 or lower, if you would open Cydia and close it and then open it back again, it would reload the entire page you were on before. But look what I can do in the latest version of Cydia, which is actually a bug fix release now, just hours after Cydia 1.1.14, we're ready at Cydia 1.1.15. I can go into Cydia, close out, launch it back up again, and continue exactly where I left off. Say I'm reading something about queue status, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I can exit out, go into settings, head right on back to Cydia, and bam, I can continue scrolling up or down. The page doesn't reload, and this is so, so awesome, guys. I hated that Cydia would never save the point where you're at on the little scroll view before, but now it does, and that's awesome. An issue where an ad would automatically redirect you to the app store without you ever even tapping on it is fixed in the latest version of Cydia. As you can see, there is protection against hijacking ads, as Sark like to call it, and it will now ask a user before launching the app store, which is really good. That was a big issue in around the past year or so where you would be viewing a package on a repository, whether it be Big Boss, Mama Eye, whatever, it would just launch the app store randomly, which is something that you didn't want. Very annoying, glad to see that fix as well. This is already an awesome update, but it gets even better because now it has native iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus support. As you guys can see right here, the interface is fitted for the iPhone 6. Looks very nice if I don't say so myself. And also if you have an iPhone 6, it's got an at 3X icon, so it won't be reverted to the iOS 6 version of Cydia. It now looks good even on the iPhone 6 Plus screen as far as the icon goes. Also, the interface I've heard looks great as well on the iPhone 6 Plus. Finally, videos work again. There was an issue with the previous versions of Cydia where some YouTube videos would just stop playing or crash Cydia. It was very annoying and you couldn't see how a tweak worked if a developer put that in the package's depiction. And also, localization is improved. It's not going to be only English. If you speak another language, it's going to be formatted for your device as long as your localization is supported. And finally, Q status is less incorrect as he likes to call it. Basically, the Q is gonna work better than ever before. I never really experienced any issues with this, but it's improved nonetheless. There are a couple of known issues, but he says that they are working on a fix for this. And that's about it for the latest version of Cydia, which is now 1.1.15 or 1.1.14 as the actual big meat and potatoes release for Cydia today. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, leave a like down below, and if you want to know how to jailbreak, there will be a tutorial up on my channel in the coming days. Make sure you are subscribed in case you haven't already, because I love jailbreaking, and I definitely want to keep on sharing that excitement with all of you guys here on my channel. Thanks again for watching. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll see all of you in my next video.